皆さんこんにちはゆうきです突然ですが今年2019年は何の年でしょうかそう今年ラグビーのワールドカップがここ日本で開催されますラグビーといえば競合はたくさんいますがその中の一つがウェールズです今回はウェールズ編インタビュー第1弾ということで学生時代にはナショナルスタジアムでプレーしたこともあり現在は環境保護団体で働いているショーンさんにインタビューしてきましたヨーロッパの中でも際立って独特の文化を有するウェールズですがその秘密とはそれではご覧くださいどうぞ Thank you for accepting this interview My pleasure My name is Sean Ellis Williams Uh, so, I'm a regional campaigner for Friends of the Earth, and a lot of my energy is going into supporting one of our local groups.、Mm. Uh, so, Friends of the Earth is the world's biggest grassroots environmental、mm. organization.、Uh, Bristol Friends of the Earth is running a campaign on air pollution and also working on trying to stop a road that is planned to go straight through. The Stonehenge World Heritage Site. I was working as the regional campaigner in London to get London to declare itself as a national park and also working on European nature laws as well, trying to make sure that we protect European nature laws. From a very early age, I've always been really interested in nature. But I think in Wales, we're blessed with a lot of beautiful coast and、mm. mountains and landscape. And、um, so maybe there is something if you grow up in, in a country like Wales, maybe you feel more in touch with nature. And when I Decided to try and pursue as a career. University had a big impact on me. I studied international relations and I realized that climate change is maybe the biggest challenge that humanity faces now. And so that really started to shape where I wanted to go in terms of the work、mm. that I do, how I use my time. Cardiff is a good sort of launch pad. If you only have a little bit of time, you can still do quite a lot of things. We've got the castle in the city centre. Cardiff is a compact city, but、mm. Wales is also a quite a small country. You know, Wales has quite a distinctive culture and history, and you can actually get to some other parts of, of Wales quite quickly, particularly Pembrokeshire,、mm. s c o m e r Island to see the puffins and the seabirds. No, and I would really, I mean, Japan is maybe top of my list. My girlfriend actually studied Japanese and Spanish when she was in university. For me, that's always been a really big fear is that I wouldn't be able to communicate. I think it's a shame to go somewhere and not be able to really、uh, get to know people and、mm. understand the culture a bit more. So that's always put me off.、Mm. But I think if I were to go with, with her,、mm. um, then I'd feel like I would get a richer experience perhaps.、Yeah. Another side of, of the culture that I'm really interested in is how Japan has coped with some、mm. disasters. Fukushima was, from an environmental、mm. perspective,、yeah. was a really big event. It's a reflection of certain aspects of a culture and,、mm. and I guess, certain aspects of a, a nation state. I saw kind of some really amazing heroism, I think, where、mm. people would sacrifice themselves in order to、mm -hmm. serve the society. You know, my understanding was that people felt like they weren't getting the whole story. And、mm. so, there's,、uh, for me, this is like a really interesting、mm. uh, window on, it, on,、mm. on the culture. There are some things that are seriously wrong with Western values. And I think, I know it's a big generalization, but、mm. the East has a lot to offer, I think, in terms of wisdom on that front. Um, oh, that's a good question.、Uh, I think family. Family is the reason I moved home to Cardiff. My parents live in Cardiff. I'm、yeah. an only child, so I don't have、oh, any、okay. brothers or sisters. Yeah, I really wanted to be close to my parents、mm. to be able to see them on a regular basis. I've lived in London for most of the last 10 years. I really enjoyed the time that I spent in London, but you know, one of the challenges is as it's become more expensive. People have tended to be pushed further and further、mm. out.、Yeah. And so you spend more and more time traveling. You know, I really asked myself, as well as wanting to spend more time with friends、mm. and families, and then you think, well, maybe I could be taking that three hours that I spend every day on public transport. Yeah, it used to be minimum one hour、mm. uh, bike ride, you know,、mm. in London. And I walk to work, it takes me 15 minutes. You know, I've really taken back a lot of time that I can spend on. Other things. I used to play rugby a lot when I was、um, 
when I was in school. At the time, it was the only Welsh language comprehensive secondary school in mm. in Cardiff. It really prided itself on rugby for one thing. Yeah, yeah. the two things that were, were language and rugby and music actually as well. Mm. And when I was playing and we won the Welsh Cup when I was 16, I think, and we got to play in the national stadium in Cardiff. Oh. The, and the whole school got given the day off. So mm. there were a thousand pupils in my school. And they said, look, we're playing rugby. We're in the final. Uh, nobody has to go to school today. We're all, you know, nice. come to the stadium. <laughs> nice. The other school, that didn't happen. The other school, all okay. the other... So, you know, we completely dominated the stadium. Oh, and, wow. you know, So it was only that's cheering. Amazing. Maybe that's why we won. I don't know. In the 1970s, Wales mm. was the best team in the world for rugby. And there was a really strong tradition of singing so yeah teams would be scared to come and play in in Cardiff because the sound in the stadium the sound of the singing would really scare them in the same way that New Zealand's hacker they would sing in Welsh and the teams wouldn't know what the songs were about and some of the songs sound really fierce as a, <laughs> a song called Sospan Vach mm. my beast Marianne wedi brivo <laughs> and it sounds really sort of yeah. minor and scary and mm. You know, they get they think it was like an old war song. And then one year they printed the words in the program and apparently they printed the words in English and the the words it's like a you know, like a nursery rhyme almost. Mm. It's about a, some you know, a, a saucepan a, a saucepan being boiled and um somebody hurting their finger and yeah, you know, it just and people were like, This is a joke, you know, that we thought <laughs> this was a really scary war song, but it's just like a nursery rhyme. Mm. So yeah, it's lovely because everybody's friendly. It doesn't matter which team you support. Mm. You know, we have a nice tradition of just sitting down with a pot of tea and a plate of sandwiches and you get the best of both worlds that way. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of it was to do with the working class culture in Wales because mm. of things like mm. mining and in England and Ireland and other parts of the world, rugby really is a game that was played by the upper classes. Mm. And I think that's true with the music as well. That was people spending a lot of their time underground, mm. digging coal. And then when they came up, they wanted to do something, mm. yeah, that allowed them to express a different part of themselves. And now, you know, that industry has disappeared. And mm. so the Welsh valleys that surround Cardiff, they're very deprived. Mm. There's very high rates of unemployment in certain parts of the valleys and but there's still a lot of pride there's still mm. beautiful communities for me the the message has to be about how we can try to save ourselves as a species it's an old motto but it's a good one you know think global and act local the world has globalized so much even in my lifetime mm. It's impossible to ignore the fact that we all share one planet. And sometimes it feels really scary mm. and you feel like, um, what can I do? Mm. I'm, you know, I'm one person. And, mm. um, but there is always something you can do. And if you, you'll find something in your own mm. local, mm. Uh, you start local and, and then you can go from there. So yeah, that would be my message. いかがでしたか世界各地で都市化が進む中大事な文化や自然を守ろうとするウェールズ今も昔もその中心となっているのは労働者階級の人たちで一人一人がショーンさんが動画の中で言っていたように地球規模で考え身の回りのできることから行動